So you're ready to accept payments in your business. I am so freaking excited for you. And I really think this video is gonna help you in actually understanding how to start processing payments and getting these new clients on board in your new coaching or expert business. Hey, this is Camila Gornia, founder of Heart Behind Hustle, and I constantly get questions from newer coaches and newer online experts and people that want to sell courses and healers or whatever in wanting to actually understand how to process payments online because it can get a little bit frustrating in having to constantly send invoices or ask for checks. Uh, I don't really think anybody ever sends like actual physical checks in the mail to anybody anymore, especially if you have an online business. Not only does it take like a thousand years for something like that to get there, uh, we all know USPS can lose mail pretty much all the time and it's happened to me with random packages. And why not just get your payment like immediately so that your potential client doesn't get fear get in the way because making a decision to work with you as your as as the coach or as a healer has to come from that place of stepping into a higher level of being, from stepping into this place that they weren't in before. And anytime that you get outside of your comfort zone, obviously fear is gonna come up. Obviously you're gonna have to step outside the comfort zone and things like that. And the longer a potential client sits there not taking the action to step into that next step, the longer these thoughts are gonna come in saying, you know, it's better if you just stick around, it's better if you just wait, maybe you can figure out on your own. But we both know there's a reason why she got on the phone with you in the first place and it's because she is ready to work with you. So being able to process payments instantly, like right on the phone or uh, sending a potential client or customer to a specific page where they can just check out immediately and get the materials immediately and start diving into their transformation right away that is gonna be a game changer for you. So in this video, I wanna share with you the three things you need to have in place in order to start accepting payments online and what we specifically do in my business and uh, what you can start doing as well so you can start getting out there today and getting your clients processed online today. There are actually three things you need to have in place. Number one is your offers. Number two is the payment processor. And number three is the shopping cart. So there are different tools and different things and different ways to approach each of these. The first step is having the right offers. So we're not gonna get too deep into the offers, but yeah, you kind of have to know what you're actually selling if you wanna sell it, right? So what, the, what are the offers you're gonna be selling? What are the packages? Is it single sessions? Hopefully not. Uh, is it four to five to six month coaching packages? Is it a retainer? Is it a digital course? Uh, what does that all look like? And what is the pricing? So the pricing is the most important here because that's what we're talking about in the context of this video. So what are the different payment structures? Do you have a pay in full option? Or do you have an installment plan? Do you have a couple of different installment plans available? What does that all look like? Now let's move on to the most important things that you're probably here for, which is the payment processor and how to actually accept payments. So I'm gonna talk to you about this in the most regular human ways. I am not a techie. I am not the most analytical person in the world. I am just a coach and a creative and a person that has a business. And I know that you're probably not really into the whole like, oh my God, technology, robots, crazy things. Like if you did, you probably wouldn't need to watch this video. So in order to accept payments, you need to have something that is a, like a software that actually processes these credit card payments so that you can transfer them into your bank, right? Now, in the past, I have actually used a merchant account uh, with one of my banks that I use, PNC Bank, and I used it for the first three and a half years of my business and it was good and it was fine. However, uh, I really wasn't able to use a merchant account with a lot of platforms that I wanted to use it for. And I needed to use Infusionsoft uh, in order to even be able to process those payments. And Infusionsoft is quite expensive. It wasn't what I really needed. I actually made a separate video talking about Infusionsoft and why I'm moving away from Infusionsoft. What I basically moved to is Stripe. So Stripe is something that 
Um, exactly. That's exactly what it does. It processes your payments, your credit card payments when people purchase things from you. But it's pretty much on par with every single other option that's out there. It's the same as you would be using if you're using a uh, PayPal merchant, as well as like my bank's per merchant it was pretty much the same thing too. So Stripe is on par with everything and it's really, really straightforward and easy to use. One of the other reasons why I wanted to use Stripe is because Stripe has been shown to be really, really great for people that have even multiple seven figure online businesses. The thing is a lot of banks don't really like online businesses because we're risky, right? We never know what's going to happen to us. It's not like we have a brick and mortar store and it's like the typical thing where they understand what we're doing. Most people don't understand what we're doing when you're a coach or an online expert. So banks see us as kind of a liability a lot of times. We might just drop off the face of the earth one moment. Uh, we're making money through information and selling information and selling intangible. So it, it, it can be a little bit challenging for them to understand. Now, in order to make this effective, we need to work with processors that understand and are okay with the fact that one month we may bring in $50,000 in a single month and the next we might bring in 10 and the next we might bring in five because that's the cycle of a lot of online businesses, especially if they're doing launches, right? So Stripe is awesome. Stripe integrates with a lot of great platforms and it accepts credit cards, which is awesome. Now it also allows you to have uh, recurring payments. Uh, it allows you to have payment plans, trials, all the things you possibly want to need in an online business. So you want to basically first step is get set up on Stripe. It is free. And then you just pay uh, like a percentage and a few cents per transaction. That's basically, that's it, right? So you just have to get yourself set up, link it up with your uh, business bank account. Cause yes, you do need a business checking account and that's it, right? That's all you, that's all you need is getting yourself set up there. That's the first thing. You also need to make sure you have some kind of a shopping cart option, some kind of a shopping cart software. So I have used again, many different options. I have used Infusionsoft's shopping cart, uh, pages. I have used ClickFunnels, which I still use ClickFunnels for sales pages and landing pages, but I really wanted to have something that was just for shopping cart. It was just for processing payments. I was able to set up all types of offers, all types of pay pricing structures. I could have affiliates in there. I could have anything I wanted and I could have just a really simple link to send to clients that all they had to do is enter their information and then boom, shakalaka, they're signed up and they have their client and the, the payment has been processed. The easiest thing in the world. And the way I've been able to do that is by using Thrivecart. Thrivecart has been just amazing. It is, uh, it's really great because it's actually a competitor to another tool that's very, very similar because it also allows us to have affiliates and um, do like upsells and tripwires and like all the like sales funnel type of things. But the other competitors have a monthly fee. Now, Thrivecart will have a monthly fee as well when it comes out of beta. And it has been in beta for a while and it's actually completely functional. It's completely just like amazing. And you actually can sign up through people. Like if you have an invite link, you can actually sign up for just like a lifetime access uh, price. And then that's your shopping cart and it has everything, every functionality you might ever need. And it's freaking awesome. So I actually do have a link for you that you can use. So um, I am going to be linking that below. So you can use that special link and get your access to thrive cart because it is seriously like the best thing ever. And um, I wanted to show you a little bit of what thrive cart looks like, but basically, the way that it works is Thrivecart is the thing that you're actually going to be sending to clients. It's going, you're going to be getting specific links for like, Hey, this is my coaching package, or this is my, um, you know, digital course that you're buying. And then people can select which options they want to choose from. Right? So if you have a pay in full option, or if you have a payment plan option, all of those things can be, uh, basically outlined on that one page, people get to choose which one they want, and then they get set up for a recurring payment plan if if they're choosing that option and you don't have to send them invoices every single month you don't have to hope if they're going to pay on time or anything like that because it's all going to be set up automatically you're going to be saving so much time you're going to be saving yourself lots of headaches from clients not paying and it's just going to make your life so so much easier and the other cool thing too is that if you do use paypal for some of your processing because 
uh, if you're working with people in other countries that are not U.S. and also in the in the U.S., a lot of people prefer to use PayPal because they feel safer using PayPal. Uh, you can also accept PayPal as one of the payment options. So if someone isn't comfortable using their credit card or maybe they don't trust you enough or maybe they just don't have a credit card to use because some people don't, they can use their PayPal account to also sign up and pay you as well. And it's so freaking cool. Now, I'm not a huge fan of PayPal. I don't usually recommend using PayPal, especially for high ticket offers. PayPal has been known to actually hold funds from online businesses. So imagine making $10,000 in a month and like suddenly because you just crushed it, and then PayPal is like, oh my gosh, what did you do? How did you do it? We're going to hold your funds because this looks suspicious. And then you don't actually get that money for sometimes months. And if that's your livelihood, you don't really want to be depending on a payment processor that doesn't trust you or isn't going to release your funds to you because how are you going to pay for your bills and your rent, right? doesn't make any sense. So I usually prefer using Stripe. Really, I haven't had any problems with them. And then for small little tiny offers, anything that's under $97, I might also have an option where people can pay with PayPal. And um, and that's pretty much it, right? It's so straightforward. If you go on any of my sales pages, you'll for, for digital courses, for example, you'll see that anytime I have a buy now button or a sign up or something like that, it takes people to an actual shopping cart and people can enter their information, enter their credit card information, click on that buy button. And sometimes I might have another thing that they'll see, like an upsell page where they can sign up and upgrade the, their account or upgrade their purchase and include maybe, um, you know, a couple of sessions with me or another course that they might purchase or a ticket to an event that I'm running. And it can all happen with just a single click. They don't have to enter their information again. And it just makes the entire process super seamless and smooth and very, very effective. So that is what I recommend that you use as well if you're looking to not have any headaches when it comes to processing payments. For those of you that are like, well, Camila, I heard that you can only use, you can just use Stripe on its own and you don't actually need a shopping cart. Um, that is true. And you can also use it with ClickFunnels and stuff like that. But ClickFunnels doesn't have uh, that integrated dashboard where it shows you how much money you're making each month or each week, or it doesn't have those types of reports. And also, if you only want to use Stripe, you can process people on Stripe itself. You can send invoices, you can bill people on your own within Stripe. But honestly, if you're not very techy like me, using Stripe on its own is actually kind of complicated. Like it's not the most intuitive thing, I think. That's why I like to use this other platform that just simplifies everything for me. And that is Thrivecart. And then I don't have to ever really go into Stripe very often. It's all done for me. It's all done automatically. And it just, it's just way, way easier. So hopefully this video is helpful for you. And if you are a newer coach or online expert, I actually have a great resource for you that is a starter kit for online businesses that literally takes you, it's, it's a roadmap, it's a checklist of all the things you need to have in place, all the systems and foundational steps you need to have in place in order to start getting out there and working with clients. Because I typically work with clients that already are working with their people and already are making a, at least a little bit of money. And what better way for me to make sure you're ready for that than by helping you actually get there. So I did link, uh, link that roadmap below so you can grab that. It's free. And I really hope that you enjoy that and let me know what you think. Now, if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel quite yet, you know what to do. Hit on that subscribe button and I would love to see you in my community and hear from you. And hopefully, hopefully you're going to enjoy my next videos I come out with too, because they're all here for you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.